the transducer cable connections on the PT878 are located on the top right hand side of the device. The upstream connection is the port closest to the right hand edge of the device. The downstream connection is located next to the wireless infrared communications port. The upstream and downstream cable connections are identified by color code, red for upstream and blue for downstream. To connect your PT878 flow meter to transducers, insert the LIMO connections of the transducer cable into the LIMO sockets on the PT878. LIMO connectors utilize a self-latching system that locks the connection in place once the cable is inserted into a LIMO socket. Align the LIMO connectors so that they are being inserted straight into the socket. Gently push forward until you feel and hear a slight click. The upstream cable, color-coded red, connects to the socket closest to the outer edge side of the PT878, while the downstream cable, color-coded blue, connects to the socket right next to the wireless infrared communication port. To disconnect LIMO connectors from the PT878, you must first gently pull back on the outer release sleeves, which release the latching system of the LIMO connections. While the outer release sleeve is pulled back, gently pull straight out on the cable until the LIMO connector is out of the socket. If you do not use the release sleeve and attempt to pull out the LIMO connection properly, you may damage the cable and have to order a new one. Male BNC connections are utilized on the opposite end from the LIMO connection side of the transducer cables. The upstream and downstream male BNC cable connections are relative to the LIMO connections identified by color code red for upstream and blue for downstream. Transducers are outfitted with female BNC connections to allow the transducer cables to be connected. Female BNC connections have locking posts on each side of the connector. The male BNC connector has grooves in the outer shell that allow the locking posts on the female BNC connection to be securely fastened. Line up the grooves on the outer shell of the male BNC connector to the locking posts on the female BNC connector. Gently push the male BNC connector of the transducer cable onto the female BNC connector on the transducer until it can go no farther. Rotate the outer shell of the male BNC connector 45 degrees clockwise to lock the connection in place. To disconnect the transducer cable from the transducer, gently push forward on the outer shell of the male BNC connector. Then rotate the outer shell 45 degrees counterclockwise and pull the male BNC connector off of the female BNC connection of the transducer. If you do not unlock the male BNC connection correctly from the locking posts on the female BNC connector before attempting to disconnect the cable, you will damage the male BNC connector and have to repair it.